If your husband is anything like Jeremy, this is his idea of patio furniture. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. What's wrong with Marvel chairs? I think we can do better. So one of the things that I wanted to do out here was really make this feel like an extension of our house. So I really wanted to bring the inside outside. And I feel like one of the number one ways to do that is to put an outdoor rug. One of the ways I wanna use this space is kind of like a living room, an outdoor living room. So I wanna be able to cozy up on the couch, watch the boys play, um, or us just cozy up as a family. But also, I wanna be able to eat out here. This is why I love this outdoor sectional from Walmart. Um, when I was looking for sectionals, it felt like all the influencers were buying, you know, five, $10,000 outdoor furniture sets and Obviously, that was not in our budget. Um, but this one, you guys, it was only $800 for everything. Minus um, the little fire pit. That was something I added this year. Um, it is through the Better Homes and Garden line um, from Walmart. So, you might check that out. The boys love this. Um, we'll do like a s'mores night out here. Um, it's a big hit. And then if we need more room on the table, we just unattach it um, and set it aside. And then these also slide up under. Um, so, when you're not using them, you know, they're out of the way. And now, just like the inside, we're going to add a few touches. Um, I believe every man's favorite, throw pillows. <laughs> so this space over here is a great space for an end table. Um, as you can see, we have a tree stump. This is actually a, a real tree stump that Jeremy and I uh, ripped the bark off, put poly on, and... Um, are using it here now if you want to go this direction with like a tree stump look target does sell some that are more i think they're porcelain um and so you could go this way or you could just use an end table but we're going to add some lanterns um these lanterns are from walmart and what i like to do is just add um the battery powered twinkle lights i think they're like you can might have heard them as fairy lights as well um and so these actually have a timer you can just turn them on um say five o'clock and then each night at five o'clock they'll turn on or you can just turn them on and off as you want. So another thing that you can add to your back porch to really bring it alive are plants. Now, if you're like me and you can't keep plants alive, that's okay. You can go the faux route. So something else I recently added to our back porch was this mat from Letterfolk. Um, it is so cool. It's a tile mat. And so you can actually change out the tiles and create um, anything you want on this one mat. So it's really cool. You can change it out for different seasons, different holidays. Um, they have different colors, different sizes. Um, I'll be sure and link everything. I'll link their website um, in the description box. Can you actually have an outdoor space without outdoor games? I don't think so. <laughs> so we built these and for the longest time they were just kind of in the way and so we actually decided to hang them on the wall and honestly they kind of look cool so another element to this back porch is the the ceiling so we added the um cedar tongue and groove stained it and it really it really brought a warmth out to the outside and that wood element just really really shines against um, all of the blank concrete and brick and everything else. And then we added, um, we switched out the builder grade lights, went ahead and added ceiling fans so that when it is hot out here, we can kind of have some airflow. Um, these are the Hunter ceiling fans. I wanna say we, maybe about 150 each. Okay, let's do a recap. The outdoor furniture that we purchased from Walmart last year, it was right around $800. You can purchase that set now for $900. And then this fire pit, um, I found actually on sale for $35 through Better Homes and Garden at Walmart. Um, they still have some. And then also Target, you can get those for about 70 bucks. 
Now for the end table, like I said, this one we actually did ourselves, um, but you can purchase similar ones from Target for around 100. And then these lanterns, you're gonna be able to get them from Walmart still as well, and they're around um, $15. As for the the ceiling, the wood ceiling, we did that, I think the the size is about 14 by 20, and we did that for about four, 450. And then as faux plants go, you can kind of spend whatever. I've seen them, you know, ridiculously high. Um, but if you do some searching, say TJ Maxx, Home Goods, um, Ikea, you can find them for, um, you know, around 10 to, you know, $20. And then the ceiling fans, like I said, we paid for those about 150. So for the two, 300. As for um, the throw pillows, every man's favorite. Um, these are actually, these are from Target. These are the Hearth and Handline. Um, these exact ones, they don't have available right now, but they do have similar ones this season. So they were probably 25 a piece and I have two. The tile mat by Letterfolk was $75 and then they have another size. So this one was a standard. They have a large size for a hundred. So that's going to do it for us. I hope you enjoyed this. Um, maybe it gave you some inspiration, some ideas of what you can bring into your back porch. Um, and at the end of the day, it's a heck of a lot better than those Marvel chairs. <laughs>